everyone, and welcome back to The Hive Podcast. I am Lorenzi Moten, and I have the pleasure of sitting here with Sarah Johnson. Sarah, how's your morning going so far? It's going really good. <laughs> awesome. So now, Sarah, how do you feel Tuesday night went for your team? I mean, I think we did a really good job. It was a really great team win across the board. We were all solid, and I mean, we have these goals set out from the beginning of the year, and I mean, we were able to crush a lot of those goals that we set out for ourselves, and honestly, it's just like the right path that we're trying to go um, going on in the season. Perfect. So I was able to sit into film and a little bit of practice, so I heard kind of the game plan. How close do you guys think that you stuck to that game plan that Coach Crump was able to provide for you guys? Um, I think we nailed it on the nose, really, with um, the game Tuesday. Of course, there's things we can always improve, but, I mean, any game you can always improve on yourself. But, again, I think we did – this game was just a really um, good one, just like the team coming together, um, everyone being able to show off their skills – and um, be others, letting us be able to show the uh, our teammates skills as well. So I think it was just a really good game all together with our goals and everything. Awesome. I could not agree more. So this season was extremely different for your team in particular, not just because of COVID, but also because you guys had a huge coaching change. So take me back to that moment when you found out that you were going to have a different coach. What was going through your mind? What were your initial thoughts? Denial. Um, I think when she was talking, like when she was telling us, my brain couldn't process it. Um, I think it hit me more when I saw like some of my teammates crying and then I realized, oh, okay. So this is like an actual thing, but I think it still didn't hit me for a while. Like even a week later, it still didn't hit me that, oh, okay, this is (laughs) different. But, um, I mean, this team has faced so much adversity from last year to this year that, Um, Although it was heartbreaking and awful, I think this team was still able to be like, okay, this is just something that's being thrown at us again. Um, What's the next move for us as a team to get through this? I played basketball in college. I played D1 basketball. And we had to be on campus from the start of July. (laughs) So I hear that, you know, in different levels, you don't have to be on campus in the summertime. And now obviously since COVID, a lot of things were shut down you know what I mean there wasn't a lot of gyms there wasn't open runs there wasn't a lot of you know different you know practice facilities that even allowed you to come in so what was your training like this summer hard um I do my family um my stepdad he is extremely like for us it was we were so terrified of getting COVID to the family and getting it to him um and so it was very hard I couldn't go to any of the gyms I actually, but, um, you know, we followed what coach um, gave us um, and they're very lenient on figuring out what you have. I actually used Harry Potter books as my weights mm-hmm. because I didn't have anything and they were the biggest things I have at home. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, I would drive to my middle school and I would run on um, in the back trails and I would use um the outside court and actually funnily enough I got escorted off by the police oh, wow. <laughs> one time because they're like hey you can't be here so I was like oh <laughs> so I had to leave but it was definitely an experience um especially from what I have been used to so what is one aspect of your game that you wanted to improve on last season and how did you go about doing that Last season, I would say it was very hard for me mentally. Um, I went through a lot of stuff, um, but honestly, this year, um, my goal, and I even said it at the end of last season, was I just want to come back into this game, not stress. I just want to be able to play. I want to have fun. I want to fall back in love with the sport again. I don't want to be stuck in my head and like, freaking out over every single little thing, (laughs) which I mean, I think a lot of freshmen do, honestly, because you want to just be like, I can do this. But in reality, it's you need to just sometimes step back and be like, you don't have to be able to do all of this, but you just have to do what you can do for yourself and what you can do for the team. Um, So that was kind of my what I've been trying to in mentally um, mentally space was just get my mind in a better place so I can be able to come to practice and not want to cry or something or come to practice and have a smile on my face, um, which was very rare for me last year. But I think this year I've definitely improved. And I mean, I've read a lot of self-help books. 
I did a lot of just reevaluating life. And I mean, COVID's awful, but it also gave me that time to be able to do what I needed to do before coming back. I love that. And I love, I was going to ask you, like, how did you go about that? Self-help books? <laughs> uh, that's really awesome. I, I commend you for, you know, taking that step. And I feel like a lot of athletes sometimes forget that mental health is a big piece. And, you know, like we do go through a lot, you know, yeah, I mean? it's, it's, it's a different amount of stress. And so I commend you tremendously for being able to stand up for yourself and your mental health. Thank you. So what is one goal? This could be a personal goal. This could be an athletics goal that you have for 2021. I would say that I'm still working on that goal that I mentioned earlier about still trying to get into that mind space. Um, I think that, again, that, that's just been my main goal for this past cult, like year and a half now is just, I just want to be able to do what I can do and just, again, stay in this happy mindset that I'm at. Um, of course, like I'll have my divots and everything, but honestly, like, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but I do know that like, you know, you're still going to be here. Your mental health is still always going to be there. And although we don't, we can't control what's happening outside. I feel like this is the thing I can control the most out of everything. And um, I guess like with basketball, like my goal is again, just to be able to be there for my team, whatever they need, um, pushing them, I guess, when practice or whenever I can finishing my shots, I guess is the next, but yeah, that's just basically where I'm at. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Sarah, for taking the time out of your busy schedule to sit <laughs> on the high podcast today. Do you have any last words? Thank you for everything you're doing right now. I know you're going to be very busy. Of course, with all these sports coming back, I know your schedule is going to be hectic. So thank you for doing this. Oh, thank you.